if you have seen my previous tutorial about optimizing anime hair and creating it in a stylized way so that it could be smooth and driven by the curve when you extrude it using curves you may probably find that sometimes you end up with too much topology even when you convert it into vertices like in this case or in this case but there's a way to even simplify this some more so I'm going to isolate this I'm going to enter to edit mode I'm going to press alt and then I'm going to locate my cursor over here and when I do that alt and then left click it's going to select all this entire row then I'm going to go outside of isolation because I want to select a plane or rather an, an angle where I can create a plane and once I have that selected I'm going to press X to delete and then I'm going to press I to dissolve the edges so that took care of that pretty quickly now let's do that over here so what's the idea we want to create a very flat surface X and then I that's the shortcut for that look at that it's clean and now you have too many uh, subdivisions here so you can even do the same with transversal cuts by placing your cursor on an horizontal line and then alt and left click mouse and then X and then I that will dissolve that let's do that for all of these other parts as well let me zoom in so that you can see in transparent mode XI that's the shortcut that we just mentioned again XI it's going it's going to delete those um, exceeding edges because if you want to use this for an a, a video game a mobile video game application or even if you want to stream by OpenGL or I'm sorry GLTF files you can optimize your hair and look at that now you are much efficient with polygon count which by the way in blender 3 you can activate statistics and whenever you're in isolate mode in local you can see all of the vertices that you are currently having on this mesh so check that out 466 and 448 so if we continue to optimize this we can see a huge a huge reduction so bear in mind that even if you're uh, using this for a streaming avatar or if you're doing something for web mobile you do not need all of these vertices over here so X and then delete the faces XF yeah XF and the less polygons you have to move around the better for your mobile application so in my case I think I'm, I'm gonna go with this XV so you can read the shortcuts and put pause on the menu and I think that will do okay so uh, why am I so showing you this because behind of the hair you have a lot of subdivisions additional subdivisions do you see that let me see uh, let me switch it okay so this is the hair the way we want it right but back here there's a lot of subdivisions that we don't want let's isolate that so you can see it and do you see all of this we don't need it so I used to you know take those two faces and then press F to um, unify them to solve them but now you can do just press 2 to get to your edge select filter like I mentioned before press alt on a vertical line and then you will get that then press X to delete and then I to dissolve the edge okay so again X I let's do the same over here X I and just like that maybe we can get rid of this too X I because it's going to be flat nevertheless so it doesn't matter over there and let's see from the frontal view how much of that edge are we going to be watching uh, not much maybe we can get rid of this one or this one probably this one XI yeah much better now you will see that this is totally flat because once we get to shading this flat surfaces are going to help us achieve that very uh, flat cartoon look that we're after and don't forget if you didn't see the the video about the optimizing 
the hair the anime hair optimization uh, in that video I mentioned that all of these uh, hairs were UV in a way that you can get the, sh the back of the hair in the shadow color like this and in the front of the hair it's going to receive the light so whatever you see dark it's going to be completely obscured by the light but wherever you see this space in white it's going to receive the light so this is the mask this is the mask that is going to limit the light and we're going to be using this in a new setup because I want to um, put this model for you to download later on once it's optimized that is so that you can use it on your games you can use it on your practices you can use it however you will see fit to practice your NPR style in a future tutorial we will be talking about how to do the Guilty Gear texture method that almost everyone seems to enjoy and that is to make all of the UVs squared and for that we're going to use a specialized add-on to create the entire UV set so please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and follow whenever I post a new video alright this is Pierre Schiller and it has been my pleasure to present to you another Schiller tip